I think that is so cool. I'm totally not keeping a yellow fanny pack on her. Girl is not wearing a yellow fanny pack with this outfit. Hey guys, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And it's never too early to get yourself a little something for Christmas. So I was on the Amazon. And I go on Amazon like, you know, about a thousand times a day. And, uh, but I search under doll and then I search new and then um, things show up. So, but the question is, did these show up on Amazon or Target? Because I do both every day and sometimes Walmart. Walmart's hard to search because there's stuff on there that isn't, um, where's my glasses? Okay, we'll use the rainbow glasses. Mm. Hello, there I am. Anyway, so these are the new fashionistas. So we've got uh, number 155, 161, 158, and I can't see her color, her number 156. And the cool thing about these is that they come in a reusable package. And I love that. I love anything that is trying to be more sustainable to, you know, just like let's cut down on the amount of trash. So these, even if you don't use these, like I don't, I probably won't keep the dolls in them, but I'm thinking these little cases would be great for like doll clothes and accessories. Cause right now I put those in Ziplocs. So, you know, if I start having a bunch of these, then I don't need all the Ziplocs. So um, let's start with this girl. Um, because I really, I, I love, I love her afro, but I really loved the jacket. So she is number 156. These were really affordable. I don't remember what the price is, so I'm going to put that right here. Um, I have got, guys, I've got so much to do before Monday. So I'm filming this on Friday and I have to film like a ton of videos because um, someone in our family is having surgery on Monday and I'm going to be taking care of them after the surgery. Um, and so for like seven days, I kind of have to be like full-time nurse person. Um, and, uh, and, and so like, you know, I don't know. I don't know how the uploads are going to be. I don't, I probably won't see me online much. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what to expect. Um, but anyway, so I just like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. And then like, we have to get ready for Christmas too, on top of everything else. Um, and this kind of popped up. It was supposed to happen in February, but it's happening now. And that's great. And it's a good thing. And it's a positive surgery. It's just that um, it's surgery. And um, I wasn't expecting it to happen now. So like, I've got all of this stuff that still needs to be done. We still haven't decorated the tree. The tree's been up for a week. It still isn't decorated because by the time nighttime comes around, I'm useless after two o'clock in the afternoon, by the way. Just don't even look for me. I'm on the couch like, yeah. And, um, and then uh, Caden and Sweet Willie were going to decorate the tree at night. But by the time nighttime rolls around, my husband's really tired because um, he's been working really hard. And then Caden's kind of like, oh, no, maybe tomorrow night. So I don't know. We may go to Christmas without a decorated tree, but it's got lights on it. So we're good. So anyway, that was just me complaining. <laughs> You're like, what did that have to do with anything, Melissa? Nothing. It's just me complaining. It's just me complaining. Life. Just life. Okay. So there's a little tiny kajinker by the zipper so that people can't steal. Um, I would think that the thieves would get by that really quickly. So make sure that you know what you're you're looking for. So oh, I forgot to show you the back box. So this is the new line. And as far as I know, these all... I don't know about the wheelchair ones if they come in this packaging i didn't see them yet we finally have a ken in a wheelchair thank you very much um and uh not that i'm happy that ken's in a wheelchair but you know what i mean so it just unzips around so it's like a three quarter unzip and then i just kind of open it up and then i'm gonna slide her out okay so she comes right out there's 156 and then this cardboard backing that is you know, so this is the only cardboard. Not bad. Not bad at all. Way to go. And then we have a reusable little case that has a Barbie logo on it. I think this is perfect for putting your your accessories in. Or, like, for your kids, if they want to take a Barbie with them somewhere and they want to take, like, just a couple of outfits and some shoes. Or maybe the Barbie pets or whatever. This is your perfect little tiny carrying case. It doesn't have a handle, but there's the hook for hanging it at the store. So, I mean, that could work as a handle, but I mean, it's just easy to carry it all in one thing. Also, makeup brushes would go really well in here. Makeup brushes, 
I'm trying to figure out if the color pop four by four palettes would go in here. We will find that out. But there's lots of uses for this. And I really, 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 really appreciate that very much. Very, very much. Someone's texting me. So now she is in here. So she is in this plastic thing. But it looks like the only, oh, I love this. The only Kajinker holding her in was the one around her waist. Yes! Hallelujah! Sorry for everyone who was wearing headphones just now. Um, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love her hair. I am loving the texture of her hair. This is, you know, one of the things that kind of bugs me because I do have a lot of black friends. I know I say that all the time, but I do. It's just kind of like where I grew up. And then as my adult life continued, I just, you know. Um, I really don't like the lipstick though. But the thing about is like a lot of times on dolls or even people like on TV and ads, even if they're wearing their hair natural, um, it's like these perfect ringlets. It's like the most perfect little ringleted afro ever. And they do that on dolls a lot. And that is that's that is a, a texture of hair that exists. But there's also another texture of hair that exists that looks more like this. And um, it's really cool. And so I love that we now have a doll with that kind of hair. This is really cool. And it's like really soft. It's soft and fluffy and poofy. I don't, okay, I'm, you know why I don't like blue lipstick? Because I have never liked blue lipstick. This is just not something that's ever worked for me. But I really like her outfit. So her dress is kind of like a varsity jacket, but it's got like be fearless and it's got rainbows, right? And what does it say on here? Team seven, team 11, do it, team do it, team something, something. You know, like, get it done, basically. Um, of course, you know, B for Barbie. But be fearless. And I love I love the little, the rainbow. I feel like that's just a subtle nod to, um, to the LGBT community. And I love that her shoes are so whimsical, that they have these little pom-poms on the bottom. Because, you know, they could have just been regular, just regular shoes. Now, these Barbie fashionistas are really inexpensive, and so they're not super articulated, okay? There's no articulation in the elbows or the knees, um, but moms, dads, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cool people who buy dolls and toys for kids, these are, I don't want to say indestructible, but these are great, great, great for your younger kids because they are so very um, there's less breaking points, you know, if you don't have the articulation in the knees and the elbows and the hands, there's less of a chance that you're going to snap off a leg, you know, below the knee or an elbow or a hand or whatever. Um, there are lots of fun to play with. And the beautiful thing about the fashionistas is their commitment to making dolls that look like everyone. So if you look through the library of fashionistas, of Barbie fashionistas, you, somewhere in there, there's a doll that looks like you. And if there isn't, there will be. So that's really exciting to me, you know, so that like a child who has hair of this texture can now have a doll that like, it's like, yeah, okay, that hair is like my hair. Okay. And that's very validating to, to see either in dolls or that's why representation matters. And we're always going on and on about it, but it's very validating to see things like that in toys, on TV, in advertising. Because when you can see yourself out there in the world, you see something that looks like you, then it, it helps you to know that you're okay. And I know that that should come from within, but you know what? Humans are social creatures. That's just basically the way we're made. Like we're wired like that. We're wired to look outside ourselves for validation. Even though as we mature, we learn how to look within ourselves. But representation really matters. And so I love this doll and I love her hair, but I really love this varsity jacket dress thing. I think that's such a cool idea. I kinda, kinda want that. Okay, so the next one I got was 158. Again, this was totally outfit driven. I think pretty much almost all of these except one was an outfit driven decision. Um, although I did wanna check out that hair cause it looked really cool. It looks better in person than it did online. So I just, snipped off the that one little snippy duty mm -hmm. we unzip that sounds like a zipper that it's got really little teeth so it's gonna last it's gonna last i think i think we've got i think we've got potential for the zipper um 
so this Barbie, she is number 158. And I picked her because I like this outfit. <laughs> Get her hair out. She's got pigtails. She's got pigtails. I mean, she's looking like, you know, your pretty standard Barbie chick, right? She's, she's, she's blonde haired. She's blue eyed. She's got her hair in these cute little pigtails, you know, and I don't want us to lose in the conversation about inclusion and diversity, the fact that there are also a whole bunch of people in America who look like this, you know, <laughs> don't want to lose them. But I really like this funky outfit. So she's got the shirt says Malibu. These pants are crazy. What is with these pants? I feel like if I wore like yoga pants, I only wear jeans because I think yoga pants are just an invitation for me to just eat. Um, I would wear these. Like these are right up my like, like design alley. And then she's got pink jelly sneakers on. So she looks like she's heading out to go do yoga or something in these funky, funky pants. She's got her hair and her pigtails. She's got her little purple sunglasses, which I'm gonna leave up on her head. And she's just, she's really cute. She's really cute. She's got one arm bent, you know, so she can do some, she can do some workout. Again, not super, you know, she's not a made to move yoga Barbie, but that's fine. Um, because you could probably put this outfit on, I don't know where my made to move yoga Barbie is right now. She's somewhere. I mean, if you could see what this room looked like right now, this might be the worst it's ever been because I'm just so not prepared. So that's 158. You put her over there, pull my cardboard out. And again, like, I'm going to have four of these. These are so useful. I really like the idea of putting my makeup brushes in there. So I want to show you, this is what I was doing before. So if you want to see me play with slime um, for kids, I mean, or adults, I mean, you know, slime isn't just for kids. On Happy Kids TV, I will put a link down below. Um, I'm doing uh, both slime and squishy advent calendars um, over on Happy Kids TV. Happy Kids TV is kind of like YouTube Kids. It's an app, um, uh, but it's also on like smart TVs and stuff. And um, the idea is that it's um, it's all safe for kids. There's no commenting. There's no tracking of anything. Um, but the cool thing is, is I know like a lot of um, like YouTube Kids is this is number one sixty one, and I got her for. A lot of reasons. So Happy Kids TV is this cool app, and I've been I've been on there for like six years. Um, but now I'm starting to make content just for uh, the app. So and I'm making content that you know I'm specifically aiming for like younger kids, so kids who are like you know under 13, um, you know, and just kind of bringing the doll love over there too. All right, so this is number 161, 161. I picked her for a number of reasons. First of all, her skin color hair color com combination is just, it just blows my mind. I, this is knockout for me right here. This is definitely, this is cool. Like, do I wish that the hair had a little more style? But I could do that, right? I could, I could boil perm that if I wanted to do something with it. But it's like apricot colored hair and then sort of a warmer toned brown skin beautiful face, beautiful amber eyes, beautiful pink lip. And then this, I like this shirt dress. Like if I wore dresses, like this is the kind of thing like that I wish that they did make like for people because I would wear this. I mean, it looks like it's a flannel shirt dress. I mean, it's a little more low cut than I would probably wear it, but isn't that cool? I think that is so cool. I'm totally not keeping a yellow fanny pack on her. Girl is not wearing a yellow fanny pack with this outfit. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Um, okay, now it's better. Now it's better. But she's also, um, she's on the, I guess, curvy or essentially built more like me uh, body, which is great. So I, can, I have this outfit that I can share among my Barbies that have that body style, that have, you know, like legs like mine, calves like mine. And then she's got these really funky, like gray, but with glitter ankle boots. This is, this is, this is a cool outfit. This chick's cool. I really, really dig her. She's got attitude. 
I really, really like her. Um, and I really, really like the way she looks in person. Her face is so pretty. She looks like someone I know. Her eyes right now are totally making me think of somebody I know. I'm going to do that. I was watching a, um, uh, just watched a, a series. No, actually what I was watching, I don't know what I was watching. I was watching Hallmark movies and I was watching, uh, like a Christmas Prince and then they have the Royal wedding and then she has a baby. The girl who plays the girl, Amber, who marries the Prince in those movies. Who the heck is she? Because she looks so familiar and I still haven't IMDb her. Okay. This is my last one. This is number 155. So these are either an early Christmas present or a late birthday present for me. I have not decided yet. I'm just, just one, it's some fashionistas. Okay, so zippity doo da. I love it. I just love it. That is so simple. And, and, and I have reusable packaging. And I love how easy it is to get them out. You know I have always complained about like, why do we need 6,000 kajinkers to get it out? Uh-oh, uh-oh. She's been kajinkered to the back of the head. She was kajinkered to the back of the head. They thought she was gonna escape. Okay, so this is another just straight up Barbie. Although I think, eh, no, I don't think she's tall. I don't think she's the tall barber. Well, the tall barber. No, I don't think she's the tall barber. <laughs> Sorry, I filmed like 24 Advent videos today. Like I have no words left. Um, this was again, totally for the outfit. This was just so 80s. Like. I would have worn that shirt. I would have so worn that shirt if that shirt existed. Would have worn this. And it's sort of like 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 pleather, you know, it's like fake leather. And then these lace up, this is what I think is cool. These are like hot pink glitter Doc Martens. Come on, that is so cool. And lightning bolt earrings, which I dig. And so I just think she's really, really cute and um, I'm still, I still haven't decided if I'm getting any of the boys. I am completely undecided yet. Um, I don't collect Ken. Like, like when I collected the Mycene dolls, when I started collecting them, some of them came in a set with the boys. And I was like, oh, I should resell the boys because I don't want the boys. And I know some people collect the boys. So, you know. Ooh, and Jensen Ackles is going to be on the TV series, The Boys. Just, just, just wanted to say. Um, so yeah, these are the four fashionistas I got. Let me know what you think. And if you've gotten any in this new packaging and any inventive ways that you come up with to use this packaging, this makes me so excited. So, so excited. And um, yeah. And until I see you again real soon, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. It just makes me so happy to be able to just come down here and ramble on to you guys and play with dolls. And I really appreciate all the love that you give me. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.